The Soybean School on realagriculture.com is brought to you by Pride Seeds, Ingenia Herbicide, and Cruiser Max Vibrance Beans. Hi, I'm Bernard Tobin. Welcome to Soybean School. Uh, today we are back with part two of our spring planting series, and I'm very pleased to be joined again by uh, Horse Bonner, O'Mafra's soybean specialist. Uh, Horse, welcome back, and thanks for coming back. Yeah, it's great. Uh, yeah, thanks for the invitation. Hey, now, in part one of our interview, we talked about one very important planting decision, and that is planting depth. And uh, today I want to talk about planting date. And um, uh, on this topic, Horst, uh, you know, there's certainly been a push, in, I'd say, in the last decade for planting soybeans earlier. Um, you know, what's, what's driving that? What's happening? Yeah, I think you're absolutely right. Uh, and the, the key is that we've learned over the last really 30 years and the last 10 particularly, is that earlier planting on average provides more yield, right? And so why is that? We used to think it's just because the growing season is extended a little bit, right? Obviously, if you plant earlier, you get a few more heat units on the on the, on the the first part of the growing season. But it's not that simple. It's actually, um, there's some real good reasons why physiologically the plant yields more. Um, so there is that little bit of a longer growing season, then a bigger factor is that you have more nodes on the plant where the pods hang. If you can get more nodes before they start to flower, that provides more yield. Okay, so that's the second thing. Some Sometimes we'd say uh, we'd almost want six trifoliates before they start to flower, right? And when you plant late, you might only have three. That's the second main reason. The third biggest reason is actually just the quality of sunlight and day length. July is just so much more uh, in terms of solar radiation that we capture compared to August. So if you plant later, you've missed out on some of the best uh, uh, solar radiation that the growing season has to offer. So those are some of the reasons why we really think relatively early planting is is the way to go. Yeah. And a great segue to some research that you did last year. You know, you ju- in in 2020 and uh, on planting date, and you produced some f- you know f- some fascinating data. And I'm going to put it up here on the screen. You know, we had a little bit of everything last year. Uh, you know, from a weather perspective. And tell us what you found here. As I say, I put up your data here. Um, it, it, you've got your dates and some planting temperatures and some plant stands. Yeah, so the, the, the fundamental question that comes up when you're thinking about planting in April is that often things are quite cold, right? And so uh, the soybeans have a reputation for not liking cold soils. And that I, th- I think there is some truth to that. You can see from these plant stands that the 20, April 25th, where it was a little bit warmer when we seeded, we did have some more plants per acre compared to that first date. Um, And so at the end of the day, though, what we learned again is that soybeans are quite tough. They can take those cold temperatures because 134,000 there is acceptable, right? And you can see even that May 22nd, heck, we had the same number of plants per acre and uh, that was uh, things were warm then. So there are other factors going on there. So at the end of the day, soil temperature is not that important for soybeans. Mm. It has more to do with other factors in terms of whether it's wet, right, and cold, or whether it rains right after with a cold rain in terms of your plant stand. So when I look at those numbers, I am not afraid of planting in April. If it's the second half of April, especially the 20th of April, and on for much of Ontario, if the weather looks good and the ground is fit, which you hit on already, I'm not afraid to plant some soybeans. Am I going to plant, you know, 3,000 acres? If I have 3,000 to plant on April 20th, no. I'm going to stretch my risk a little bit, but I certainly have no qualms uh, with starting soybeans uh, in April, yeah. And it bears out uh, on the yields. I'll just add in the yields here, uh, Horst. I mean, you know, we've got top yields um, in 
at April 22nd and April 25th. Uh, The yields are there, and uh, you know, uh, but it it does speak to the fact that hey, you get into mid mid May, you still got that sweet spot, right? Yeah. So I mean, from from last year and this data set, the the first four planning dates statistically are all the same yield. Where clearly dropped off is that June date, and we know that there's some critical date. Depending on the year, if you plan after that, you really start to lose significant yield. And for many years in Ontario, that's the middle of May when things start to drop off. And by the last week of May, we really start to drop off. But the good news is that if you can get your soybeans in early in April, um, you don't lose yield either, right? That's what that's showing. And some years, here's the fun part, some years, I remember we did this in 2009, and the April 15th beans yielded 10 bushels more than some of the later planting dates. So there are years where those early planting dates really do start to shine, right? And so there you have it. Is it as simple as saying May 1st is going to yield you 10 bushels more than May 20th? No, it's not. But sometimes it does work out that way. Yeah, and if we look at uh, you know some data here, and I'll put it up as well from the U.S. Midwest, it's a similar story uh, across the Midwest, horse um, as as we've seen in Ontario. And I guess the bottom line, the takeaway here is you know uh, it's still about you can go early, but that ground has got to be fit, and you've got to be aware if there's some impending weather that can give your seed some problems. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And, you know, one thing we're going to try this year just for fun that uh, we haven't got a good answer for is when you come out of winter, sometimes the soils are really nice and then they actually get worse for planting, right? In other words, that first little window that you have is maybe the best. So we're going to compare corn to soybeans physiologically which can take those early conditions better um, because we've never really compared the two and to try and answer the question, should you plant soybeans before corn even if you have a nice early window? So I'm looking forward to those results, yeah. Awesome. Hey, um, I'm looking forward to getting out in the field with you because I'm sure we'll have it uh, those stories on the corn and the soybean school, sir. Hey, thanks for stopping by. Uh, we'll see you in a, in a field before too long. We look forward to that. Take care.